Hey guys and welcome back to another talking video. I got this video idea from a friend, he just once asked me, hey, why don't you do a video where you're just talking about how it feels to dance in front of many people? And I was like, hmm, that's a pretty cool idea, let's do this. Why not talk about how it is in general to be a dancer? I mean, I've never seen such a video on YouTube before and I think it could be very interesting for some people. Um, yeah, let's jump into this video, but first of all, I have to mention that this video is sponsored by Sovacy. Sovacy is kind of like a um, messenger app, but in my opinion, it has a lot of more benefits. Like, I think it's pretty cool that the Sovacy cloud is to 100% a German server. And yeah, you have a lot of functions like you have a news feed where you can see the latest posts of your friends and you can determine what you see. Like, there is no algorithm that is intended for you and create groups with your friends or large communities like um, the small groups are stored on your cloud and are completely erasable at any time and you can also create events and upload your friends for it and so yeah I think it's pretty cool if you're interested and um, check out the link in my video description but now let's jump into the video. I would say this video could be very interesting, especially for those people who are interested in learning dancing. I don't want to demotivate you, but I have to be honest with you. You have to face a few problems, especially in the beginning. <sighs> Let's get into it. Imagine you are scrolling through your Instagram feed and see a very good dancer and you're like, oh he's very good or she's very good. Why I'm not so good? And in the worst case you think, I should quit dancing. <laughs> and you know what? It's a very toxic mindset, but I think it's normal and it's part of the process. As long as you don't stay in this toxic mindset, I think it's okay. And I, I don't know any person who would say, No, I never went through this. If a person says it to you, then he is just lying, okay? Uh, every dancer kind of compares himself with other dancers. Yeah, it's toxic, but it's part of the process. Another problem is that when you get better, you will notice that you get to the point where you notice that you don't have any improvements anymore. And this part can be very frustrating for a dancer. I'm speaking from experience. You have to imagine you have this learning curve which starts to increase very, very fast, but then it starts to flatten a little bit. And at this point you think, why do I dance? I don't have any improvements anymore. I can only say that's totally normal and don't be insecure about it. Keep going, keep practicing and I swear you will get better. It's just taking a little bit more time and I would say it's a good sign when you get to the point where it flattens. That means that you already had the biggest improvement. Also you have to keep in mind that it's not always about dancing itself. It has so many side effects, positive side effects of dancing and one of them is building your confidence. In my case it helped me a lot to get out of myself. It's like getting out of your comfort zone can be so refreshing and I just can recommend you to try it out. It might sound scary in the beginning. If you get through this the first time it isn't that horrible how it seems. I can only say one thing, people will never think bad of you. And if you think I'm wrong, just think about the following. Um, what would you do when a stranger would smile to you? Would you think, uh, why does he smile to me? Or would you smile back? I think you would do the second, because we're all humans. When we give something positive, positive energy, we will get this positive energy back. And it's the same with dancing. It's just crazy how this hobby helped me with my personal development. I have met so, so many people and I'm so thankful for it. And many of them are very close friends now. And I think it doesn't have to be friends, it can also be strangers. Recently I have met a very lovely woman. I was dancing outside in a park. And she was like, hey, uh, can I come to you? Uh, I want to draw a picture from you. And then she started to draw me. Um, I can blend you the picture here. Yeah, it's a little bit abstract, but I think yeah, it's pretty cool. And she was so cute. <laughs> yeah, my lovely friends. That was the video. I have nothing else to say. Okay, one thing I have to say. It's okay when you're not always motivated in dancing. Make sure to have breaks. 
it's part of the creativity process in my opinion. Just keep practicing and um, don't lose your hope. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm so so bad in doing endings in my videos. Um, but. I'm so hungry. I need to eat something. <laughs>